Hi, Dr. Phil. Um, first off, I just really want to thank you on behalf of the Lyme community for doing a show on Lyme disease. Um, it felt surreal to be even hearing the words Lyme disease be spoken on, on national TV. Um, thank you so much for doing that. Um, really, thank you. I almost went into a panic attack and I almost couldn't even watch it because after so many years of sitting on Lyme forums and Facebook talking to my Lyme friends and just being ostracized by doctors for being sick, to see you like actually taking it seriously was really, really surreal. Thank you so much. Um, thank you for believing in Kathy. Um, you know, thank you for doing a show based on Kathy and Brooke and Stephanie. We really appreciate it. Um, if you do another show, like there's a couple things that you might want to touch on. Um, I saw like on all the line boards, people were, were talking about the things that doctors and the public don't know but should be aware of. Um, one of them was transmission. Um, when you go to the doctor and say that you got bit by a tick or you have a rash, they, the first thing they do is see if it's a deer tick. Well, there's some research showing that it's not just deer ticks that can transmit Lyme. Um, it is carried in other ticks too, and it has been found in other insects. Um, we need more research to see if it can be transmitted from these other insects because too many people have Lyme disease and don't remember ticks. Also, there's a question if it's sexually transmitted or not. Um, research shows that spirochetes are found in the semen, so that might be something that should be talked about. It is also congenitally passed on. Um, pregnant moms can pass it to their children with, with, if they're not on treatment throughout their pregnancy. So that's another important but issue. Not just Lyme, but what about co-infections? Because a lot of people that have Lyme disease also have Babesia, Bartonella, or Leukiosis, or a number of other things. Has there been any re research at all done to see how those are transmitted and which bugs transmit those? So like when we go to a doctor and say we had tick bite, we should be tested for not only Lyme, but for co-infections. But that leads to another problem, the inaccuracy of tests. We need to have a test developed that is accurate and we need for insurance to recognize these tests because there is IGENX labs and Dr. Boroscano has a new culture test that are more accurate, but insurance companies won't pay for these tests and doctors won't recognize them because they're not the standard labs. So that leaves the patient in the middle of, of this war between, you know, the IDSA thinks this and IOADS thinks that. We're, we're just left in the middle to fend for ourselves. Also, the IDSA really needs to be looked into. Um, there was already one investigation that General Attorney Blumenthal did, um, the antitrust investigation, which found that the IDSA members who came up with the, the Lyme guidelines that all doctors and insurance companies go by, um, these panelists that wrote these guidelines all had connections to pharmacies and insurance companies and pharmaceutical companies. And we're companies. all relying um, and we're all putting our trust in the society, the Infectious Disease Society of America, to come up with guidelines to treat infectious diseases. Um, it just seems like it might be a little bit risky to do that. Um, it doesn't seem like they're really going based off of the evidence of the research that has been conducted. Um, so that definitely needs to be further looked into. Okay, well, I guess that's it, Dr. Phil. I just wanted to bring those things up and again, thank you and Brooke and Kathy for, for being on the show and helping spread awareness. Um, oh, really quick, I got one more little guy that would like to say hi. This is Tuffy. He has Lyme disease too. Um, it's kind of interesting the difference in the maps of the United States of where dogs get Lyme disease and human beings. You might want to look into the, the contradictions of that too. But anyway, thanks again. Um, it was a great show. God bless.